Let us look at this idea of raw data. Now according to the Certificate Mathematics 4th edition by A. Green and Lane, raw data are collected information which is not organized numerically. That is, it is not arranged in any sort of order. So it's like you conduct your study and you write down your values, but you have not yet put them in order. So we have an example here. I also borrowed this from that certificate mathematics book where it says, consider the marks of 50 students obtained in a test. Now, all of these are the marks out of 10. Here, let me center these, good, and move them. Nice. Here, what I have is a table. The first column will contain the marks. This will contain what is called a tally and the frequency. In statistics, frequency means how frequent, how many, all right? Now, all of this data, we can't really see, for example, but we can't readily see what was the highest score, what was the lowest score. Was the test too easy, too hard? Was it just manageable? What range of scores did most of the students get? How many dropped below the, the pass mark? Things like that. How many get bit, got between a certain score and another score? All right. We can't really tell from just looking at the raw data. So what we're going to do is what we call a tally. No, these are the marks. Let me put them in. Let me just put in the marks. I have uh, the lowest mark is what? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is there a nine? I don't see a nine. But I don't see a nine for now, but just let it remain as it is. Tally. We want to find out how many obtained one, two, three, and so on and so forth. All right? So, let's go. We're tallying one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. I see four. There's a four. Let me put a mark for four. A three. Let me cross out three. I see one three. There's a five. Let me cross out five and I put a mark for five. Four again. There's another mark for four. Instead of trying to confuse myself and uh, add it, counting them up and just tally them. Less likely to make mistakes or to miss out any number. Three. There's a three here. Five. Another five, there's this five, all right, there's this four, four, there's a three, three, six, six, five, five, four, I put a four here, there's a five. No, there are four strokes for five. No, that I read five. <coughs> I slash, put a slash across them. So anytime you see something like this, you know that that is five. So you don't have to be counting the strokes again. One, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. You know, all of this is five. All right, ready to read. Three. There's a three. Let's try out four. Ah, five fours. Try out another four. Good. So, so I have one, one bungle 
of 5 for the 4, one bundle of 5 for the 5, 5 again, mm -hmm. 5, good, 7, one stroke for 7, 4, there's another 4, there's another 3, ah, 5, good, there are 5 trees so far, 4, Cross out four and make a no, make a stroke for it. Three. Cross out the three. One more stroke for three. There's a four, four, five, five. Cross out four. Stroke for four. Ah, there's another bungle of five. Looking at this, you know it's ten. Ten four so far. Cross out three. Stroke for three. Cross out. 6, stroke for 6, right, cross out 1, a stroke for 1, cross out 3, another stroke for 3, cross out 6, another stroke for 6, cross out 3, there's another stroke for 3, cross out 2, another stroke for 2, cross out 6, stroke for 6, cross out 6, Bundle of five for six, good. Cross out three, ah, another bundle of five for three. Cross out five, another stroke for five. Cross out two, stroke for two. Cross out seven, stroke for seven. Cross out five, ah, another bundle of five for five. Cross out seven, Stroke for seven, cross out one, stroke for one, cross out seven, stroke for seven, cross out six, stroke for six, cross out five, stroke for five, cross out eight, stroke for eight, cross out six, stroke for six, cross out four, stroke for four, Cross out three, stroke for three, cross out five, stroke for five. Good. So we have the mark. Now the frequency. How frequent do you have these marks? Here, one. There is one one. Two. Oh no, there are two ones. Two strokes. My my. Two strokes. Two. How many twos do you have? Also, two tools. Let me write this way. So you have two. Mm -mm. No, this is a bit too thick. Let me continue using the pencil here. Two tools. Two, two ones, two tools. How many trees? Five, ten, and one eleven. There are eleven trees. How many fours? Five, ten, and one, eleven. There are eleven fours. How many fives? Five, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve fives. How about a six? Five, six, seven. We have seven sixes. Seven, four of them. See my marking very well. Eight and there's one eight. I'll put it here. Good. So you can see the number of these marks. And of course, after this, you could put it in your bar chart, pie chart, whatever it is. But you can clearly see quickly that five is the one that occurs most often. All right. Only a few students got one or two or seven and eight. The bulk of the students got between three and six. All right, good. So there you have it. Raw data that is arranged using a tally and a frequency table. 
we'll end this here and we'll continue looking at statistics in another video so i will see you then